Hey guys, it's Melanie. Happy Saturday. Welcome to another weekly home fragrance roundup. I like to do this video every single Saturday. It gives me an opportunity to update you guys on um, some candles that I'm currently burning. Um, gives me an opportunity to introduce you to some new things that I am melting or burning. Um, so yeah, that is what we are doing today. It's all about home fragrance. If you are new to my channel, I I have a little bit of a thing <laughs> for home fragrance. Um, I have ever since I was really young because I grew up with a mom who really loved home fragrance. In our house, that manifested itself in, you know, just candles from the grocery store or um, the uh, ever famous potpourri. I don't know if you grew up with that. <laughs> sitting in little bowls around your house but we did at our house and um that like generic like michael's craft store potpourri smell will forever be the smell of home to me <laughs> just because that's what i grew up with um so yeah anyway um if you enjoy home fragrance stuff um i do it usually uh during the weekend so usually my saturday and sunday videos are home fragrance related all right, um, so I am going to start with what I am currently burning. I do have a couple, well, I actually, I'm kind of going against my normal, like, burning rules. Um, I try to only have one or two candles lit at any given time, and if I want to light a different one, I will typically blow out one of the other ones that I'm burning. The reason is that um, over time, you can definitely collect soot in your house, on your walls, on your ceilings. Um, sometimes you'll notice soot around like your baseboards where the carpet meets the baseboards. That can get really dark. So you do have to be careful. You have to have some good ventilation. Um, so for me, I have found that in our particular house, either one or two candles at a time with a bunch of scentsy <laughs> in the rest of the house is a great way to go. So that way I get to enjoy the ambiance, but I'm kind of controlling the amount of soot that I am pumping into this house. So Anyway, what I have going right now are three candles. Um, this one here is the lid to the one that I have going in the kitchen, which is a Homeworks coconut cake. Um, love that one. It's one of my last three wick candles in that particular scent. I think I might have one more. Um, I love the very first iteration of coconut cake. The second time that Harry put that particular scent out, it was in the uh, in the four wick format and that one didn't burn as well um it got very hot and i think it's changed the scent a little bit for me uh, but the original is just this beautiful like coconut cake note with like a caramel sauce and then like some pecans sprinkled on the top like it just it's delicious I love it. It's so, so good. I don't normally like a lot of scents that have caramel in them because to me that almost is on the cloying end of the spectrum. Like it's so sweet that it almost gives you a headache. But this original coconut cake was perfection. So loved it. I'm cherishing that. This is the lid to the very last little bit that I'm burning of my Bahama Breeze. Um, I have that going in our family room, which is a couple rooms that way. Um, so I'm really enjoying that as well. It's a nice tropical fruity scent. Um, really loving it. And then back here, let's see if I, by the way, I'm at a slightly different angle today uh hoping that the lighting's a little bit better if i move to the side of the room but that is my guava sunset over there also from homeworks so um there's a few homeworks candles that i'm kind of getting through at the beginning of june here um not that i necessarily want to rush to finish them up but when i get past the halfway point with candles i definitely get to a point where i'm like okay well let's you know finish this one up so that we can start a fresh one or we can try a new scent so um i'm trying to finish those uh homeworks candles up so that i can bust out some of my other fun homework scents so um i still have a um what is it is it a 
nectarine, farm stand nectarine or some kind of nectarine scent from uh, Homeworks from the very first year that it came out. I also have a watermelon one that I really want to bust out. So now that we're finally getting into warmer days, I'm really craving a lot of those like fruity, like fresh summer scents. Um, other things I've been burning, so you guys are probably going to see an in-depth review of this tomorrow. I've been burning it kind of sparingly, um, just because it's kind of precious. <laughs> you can't really get this particular Nest fragrance in candle format, at least as far as I can tell. This is actually um, the Nest fragrance in Midnight Fleur. This was available in a set where I purchased the full size of the perfume. I'll go ahead and link that set down below. Anything that you can still get now, I will link down below for you. Um, but this one is beautiful. It smells exactly like the perfume, which is one of my favorite scents. And this one burns like a rock star. Um, the, sh the shape is slightly different from most home, uh, Nest fragrances because they kind of have this like, I don't know, what would you call that? Like a tulip shape almost where like the top comes out a little bit. Um, and this one is just like a straight up cylinder, right? Um, it's burning fantastic and oh, it's, it's so good. Stay tuned for that tomorrow. And then um, a lot of the same Bath & Body Works candles right now because I'm just really enjoying these scents. So I have raspberry tangerine. I actually have a raspberry tangerine that I've been burning in here. Is it? Yeah, it? yeah, it's been over here. The This one has been on the other side of the room. Um, but I also have a raspberry tangerine in my entryway as well. So I've got two of these going right now. This is delightful. If you like the raspberry tangerine hand wash from Bath & Body Works, this smells basically just like it. It's delightful. Also, more Flamingo Beach. Loving this one. This one's doing great. So I can continue to burn this. Um, Wicks are doing great you guys it's so good <laughs> flamingo beach is absolutely delightful um pink summer berries juicy orange dewy white petals it's a beautiful mix of mostly like a sweet um summery scent with a really nice balance of some floral um really it's more sweet more fruity than it is floral but that floral definitely adds something to this that makes it really special especially for this time of year um i'm hoping that my bath and body works opens at some point in the near future fingers crossed so that i can grab a couple more of these um because i'll i'll need a few more to get me through the rest of the summer i do still have a couple more in my backup stash but I'm flying through these fairly quickly, um, and it's a scent that I would love to be able to enjoy for the remainder of the summer, so. Um, oh, here, this. <laughs> um, I've also been burning a couple of these. I have these in my master bedroom right now. Um, it's a duo of the Pink Sands and Petals. Um, it was from this, like, gorgeous ribbed glass collection. I just, I love this scent. It's absolutely beautiful. This one is straight up floral. Um, jasmine petals, uh, orange blossom, uh, soft white musk, and banana flower. It's a beautiful white beachy floral scent. It is beautiful. If they ever come out with this again, you've gotta try it. It is delicious. Also, slightly random, but I finished up this candle and this was quite the powerhouse for the size of this. So this is actually a L'Occitan candle. This is their Bastide des Roses. Um, I actually received this as a gift from my sister-in-law. This is a beautiful rose scent. Um, I mean, this is gorgeous. Um, I don't know that this is available. Um, I think at one point I tried to Google it because I burned it like last year at some point for a little while and then just put it away. Um, and I think that I saw that it was like limited edition when I Googled it last year. I'll have to like research that, but if I could buy this again, I totally would. This was an amazing rose scent. It is really sophisticated. Um, a lot of rose scents, when they have that powdery note, which this kind of has, can turn grandma very quickly. But this is a sophisticated 
powdery rose. I really wish you could smell it. I don't normally love florals. Florals are not my go-to. I am someone who loves gourmand scents. So anything that smells bakery, anything that smells like a cookie, uh, cakes, pies, all of that kind of stuff, give it to me all day long. But that rose scent is beautiful. If you happen to ever come across this, it is worth picking up. And the strength and the throw of that small candle, amazing. That being said, L'Occitane is not a cruelty-free company, so definitely have to keep that in mind. All right, let's do some, let's do some scents, you guys. Um, there's some new things that I tried out this week. One that was definitely a flop for me. By the way, um, I am probably placing my order a little bit late. Well, yeah, probably today. Um, I uh, is, bring back my bar is back. So happy birthday is back. Um, if you have never tried happy birthday, you have to. You have to try happy birthday. This come back my bar bring back my bar round. Um, so the bring back my bar runs through the entire month of June. Um, if you want to add any of the bring back my bar to your Cincy club, you can do that. I already have happy birthday in there, but I'm going to add another bar where I had like taken a bar out a while ago to replace it with something else. But now I'm over that thing so I can boot that thing out and I'm putting the happy birthday back in this place because this is one that I always love. Um, my friend Lisa, who um, I buy all of my Scentsy from. She's incredible. She's not only is she one of my best friends, but she's just really, really great <laughs> with her Scentsy stuff. Like she always knows what I'm going to love. Um, we have very similar noses. Um, she loves happy birthday as well. And she at the very beginning said, it smells like funfetti birthday cake. And that is exactly what this is. It is funfetti birthday cake. If you like bakery, if you like vanilla, if you like cake scents, if you specifically love that funfetti smell because it's very distinct. It is different from like a yellow cake batter, from a white cake batter. It is just, it is its own thing. This smells exactly like it. It is so good, you guys. I cannot recommend it enough and it's finally back for Bring Back My Bar. Pick it up. Bink. <laughs> um, Juicy Apple Raspberry. This was from the Mix It collection. So I actually used this up this week. I really like this. This is very fruity. The only thing that I've noticed about this and that I've noticed about several of the um, scents from this collection, they're really strong for like the first two days and then they peter out very quickly. With a lot of my Scentsy, they're strong for like day one, two, Three, you start to kind of lessen a little bit, four, a little bit more. So there's this kind of gradual decline to about day five when usually I'm like, yeah, let's switch this stuff out. With this Mix It collection, I have found that basically after two days, it just drops to the level where I'm ready to switch it out because I'm just not smelling it anymore. But this is such a beautiful scent. Um, I believe these are exclusive to the collection, so you can't order these outside of the Mix It collection. I think this is still available. I'm going to put my friend Lisa's Scentsy down below. If you don't have a consultant that you're working with, go check her out. I will also link her YouTube channel because she's so very knowledgeable. Um, and she's wonderful at describing the scents. So um, yeah, if you want to try this and it's still available, it is good. Another great one from that collection is this one. Um, I don't want to mix this with anything because it is so incredibly good, you guys. So this is the Grapefruit Orange from the Mix It collection. If you love citrus, you have got to try this. It is, it is grapefruit. It is like fresh like navel orange juice with really fresh grapefruit and it is half and half and it is delicious there is nothing else to this there's no floral note to my nose there's no bakery happening in here it is just delicious you have to try it 
It's so good. Um, went through another cocoa lime, so finished that up. I think this was one where I only had a couple of bars left. So I really am enjoying this one in the kitchen. It is great for the kitchen. It is it's like the Bath and Body Works coconut lime verbena scent. It's kind of in that vein. This isn't a dupe for that because there are some differences, but very similar. If you like coconut, if you like lime scents, this is this is delightful. Very, very good. Um, also in our guest bath down here this week, I have been using the Palm Beach Breeze, which is beautiful. Oh man, this is nice. This is a wonderful bathroom scent. It's very clean. It almost has like a fancy bathroom cleaner type scent to it. I say that a lot with certain scents from Scentsy. Um, but this just evokes clean, fresh, maybe slightly beachy. Um, there's definitely like some fresh ozone air type notes in here for sure. But it also just has a beautiful, maybe light floral undertone as well. It's a great combination of fresh and floral. It's done really well. I actually wish it was a little bit stronger. This is one of the weaker scents, but that also makes it nice for a smaller bathroom type setting. So I just have this in one of like the wall plug-in warmers in there, so I only use one cube. It's great for about three or four days, but then I definitely notice that I have to switch it out. Um, it's very light to start with, but it stays consistently light until about day four when I'm ready to switch it out. And then the last thing. So this is a fail for me. <laughs> I melted the pineapple and fuego in my office earlier this week. And I have to say, on cold sniff, I actually like this. I'm very picky about pineapple. Lisa knows this about me. This one, when I warmed it, smelled like pineapple and dirty armpit. I know. I don't know what happened when this, like the fragrance oils warmed up to create the aroma of armpit, but something went horribly wrong. <laughs> and it, ooh, like now that I'm smelling it on cold and I'm getting like a deep whiff of it, I can see like that, just that undertone of like almost sour, like just an odd sour note. If it smelled like what it smells like on cold, I would actually really enjoy this and I would definitely want to finish it. But I think this is one that I'm going to pass along maybe to my mom and see if she picks up that note. This is the very first Scentsy scent in a long time where I've just been like, no. <laughs> in fact, after it was going for a couple hours in my office, I was like, I, I got to turn this off. I got to switch it out. There's just, there's no way. I can't do it. <laughs> it was not good. Just not enjoyable to my nose. If you have picked up Pineapple in Fuego, what are your thoughts? What do you think about this one? I'm curious, because to my nose, not good. However, usually Sensi does me pretty well, so. All right, um, I will definitely be doing a bring back my bar haul for you guys when I get everything in, um, hopefully soon. <laughs> usually my orders ship pretty quickly, so, um, but yeah, anyway. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch today. I hope that you are well and that you are staying safe. Um, I will see you guys tomorrow for this in-depth review of this candle that I'm cherishing because it's so good. Um, yeah, so thanks a lot and I'll see you in the next one.